Don't be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you and all people. Tonight, your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ, the Lord. You will find him wrapped in swaddle cloth and lying in a manger. I met you, there was a woman named Mary, who lived in the city of Nazareth. She was in love with a man named Joseph. Mary was young and a virgin, but she got a very special message from a man named Gildan. I am the A. I am the A. The Angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? Whatever God wants, I will do. I will fool the shepherds. I will know their greatest fear. I will know your greatest fear. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake
If you see a person with any sort of biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If an alternate manages to enter your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any kind of contact or communication with an alternate, we make excuses for attempts at executing them yourself.
I have a gift for you. I have a present. I have a surprise. Your little sister is so afraid. Wait for it. A situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to the police department instead. When police attention is needed, send available personnel to the address provided by the caller. When there is a fire-related emergency, contact the neighboring fire department with the provided address along with a brief description of the event. When the caller has a medical-related emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital, where their reception will take control of the line. We thank you for taking the time to learn by viewing the Metaphysical Awareness Disorder is a severe mental illness that has seen a sudden return in recent months. MAD is the result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicide in patients diagnosed with MAD is 97%. But don't worry, the remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. Avoiding development of MAD is the first step to being safe. It is recommended to avoid excessively frequent religious practice as well as any belief in unnecessary philosophical implications.
Always remember that looking after your friends, family, and loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. Tomorrow, Mr. Havisham will take you to your grandfather, and you will live with him at the castle. But I shall not go with you.
let's face it, us parents know how time-consuming it is to keep an eye on our young children. While working is essential, they must receive attention from us so that they know we love them too. Some of us may rely on key things that keep them entertained, like toys, walks in a stroller, or even cartoons on the family television. Be cautious with what channels your children view on the television, since you never know what harmful content they may be seeing. Your children may be viewing elements of violent content, sexual content, graphic content, scary imagery. If you hear your child screaming or crying in front of the television, wait until your child stops making noise before entering the room. You will be Local authorities have issued an immediate safety warning to multiple counties. Please await further instruction. As of now, a total of 3,426 children have gone missing within the following counties. Bythorn County, Berkshire County, Mandela County, Yonder County, To turn vulnerable children away from any television or medium that can project possibly frightening imagery.
Noah went out of his house for some fresh air.
Metaphysical awareness disorder is a fatal mental illness that has been making a sudden return in recent months. MED is a result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicides in patients diagnosed with MED is 97%, but don't worry. The remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. Avoiding the root causes of metaphysical awareness disorder development is the first step to being safe. First, avoid excessively frequent religious practices. Avoid unnecessary beliefs and philosophical implications. Last but not least, looking after your loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? Hello? Uh, may I schedule an appointment? Of course, ma'am. Where's the location? My home. One. Okay, thank you. Would you mind giving me a brief description of what you've been experiencing? I've been hearing... things. Like what, ma'am? I still hear the meows of my old cat, Johnny. But the little guy passed away a few years ago. Uh, really? A freaking cat alternate? Shh! I don't think it's an alternate. I just think his soul roams the house still. I want to make sure he finds peace in whatever realm he resides in. Do you think you could help guide him? We can certainly try, ma'am. When would you like us to visit? As soon as possible, please. When's your next opening? Well, we could do tonight if you want. Can you do three nights? I'm away from home on a business trip. I'm sure this will give you enough time to deal with him. Uh, well... How about 500 a night? Oh, hell yeah! All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, we will help your cat, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you can think. No problem, ma'am. It's just what we do. Back it up. Back it up. You got it. 
Yeah, I got it. You sure you got it? Yeah, just open the trunk. Now, are you really sure you got it? Because I can... Just open the damn trunk, Jonah. Hmm. You guys can do that. Such a dick one. <laughs> you think we got anything we actually needed? Oh. <sighs> Not like we can do anything about it now. Got anything left? Uh, no. You used everything already? Damn it! Well, we don't gotta worry about income anymore since we got this massive freaking payday, right? Uh, well, we got a couple options. Which are? We either won. Ask someone to help start our car with the cables, or... Steal another one? Yeah. Uh, it's broad daylight now, but it's not like anyone's gonna call the cops here. Right. And we'd be doing yet another delinquent act, but it's not like we aren't already on the run anyway. And who's to say that she's not even crazy? Who's to say she's not as high as I'm going to be in 30 minutes? Uh, I would hope us. Because the last thing I need is getting a weird house call from a stoned lady about a dead cat, and then there'd be no nothing there. Nothing there. Nah, 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 nah. Right? Half of me thinks that there aren't even alternates. And the mayor was just too stupid to just make that entire uh, infographic. Yeah, but then, like, why are we getting getting so many calls about alternates in the first place? Well, maybe because every maybe it's mass hysteria, right? Do you think this is the rise of the war on alternates? I don't know. I'm. We're just two guys driving. destination in 10 minutes. Holy shit, that's actually really useful. I mean, they didn't have to outlaw these things, did they? Like, I doubt that guy's face could appear on something like this and, you know, kill you. I don't know. No, they did not. I guess crime really does pay. I like how you're making us out to be gangsters when all we did was, you know, get all of this. I know, I know, it's just... We left our whole lives under the radar, right? Quiet kid. There's one camera in there already, but it's one of those old ones with the tapes and stuff. It will record, but I won't be able to see it in real time. I'll just have to look at it afterwards.
Here, kitty, kitty. Everything okay? Are you at peace here? <laughs> you look so stupid right now. Dude, what am I supposed to do for a literal ghost cat? What's... What's it gonna do? Just... Us to death? Like, what are we doing here? Would you mind taking this seriously for once? I mean, in the end, I don't really have to take that much seriously at all, because I'm in here, and you're in there, and you're... Yeah, because you were too scared to go inside to begin with. Not too scared. I'm not too scared. Yes, you scared. are. No, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm not. I just... I'm allergic to cats. You seeing this? Uh... The door? Locked tight. That's kind of weird. Trying to... Um, do you have anything to, you know, tear it down? I'm not gonna bust down this random lady's door. It's fine, she's not gonna find out. Anyways, moving on. So you, uh... You see anything in there? No, I mean, there was nothing besides that weird kind of locked door. Not a meow, not a noise, nothing. See anything weird on the cameras at all? Yeah, I'm not. I'm just going through this. I don't think I see anything either. I mean, who knows? Maybe that thing's just locked downstairs. Yeah, the more, I'm not going to lie to you, man. The more I look at this house, the more I, the more I really don't want to be in that. I mean, I don't see anything. I think we're just kind of babysitting an empty house for three nights. I mean, I think the best thing that can happen is we just leave now and then we say we were here the entire time. Because I'm, I'm looking at this house and I'm looking at this footage and even though there's nothing too threatening about it, I don't, I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's literally just an empty house, bro. Can you suck it up for three nights? <sighs> suck what? Where did that come, did that come from? I think that came from the house, man. I really don't like this now. I'm the opposite. This is kind of interesting. I don't, I don't, don't, don't think you should go in there now. I'm going back in. There's, there's something deeper than a cat here. I think that's the problem. I, I think it's fine. You're over. Realize what this could do for us? Do what for us? We're already on the run. We don't need this attention again. Do you like it or not? I'm going back in. Adam, please. It's too late. I've already made up my mind. How did you die? Where are you from? What year were you born in? Are you lost? Am I coming through? Loud and clear. Oh my god, behind you! Shut up! Do you see anything on the cameras? Oh my god, behind you! Dude, cut it out! Oh my god, behind you! Dude, seriously, stop! Oh my god, behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Dude, fucking quit! What the hell did I do? Just forget. Uh, what are you, what are you saying exactly? Dude, that's not funny. funny. What's not What's funny? Take a tiny bite. God's probably not even looking. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. It was good, but suddenly I feel kind of scared.
Hey, I lost visuals on cam three. You think you could check that out? Okay, please. Oh, so now you're taking this seriously. Dude, I don't know what you want from me. I'm as serious now as I've ever been. <laughs> this whole time, huh? So you fucking with me was you being serious. I get that I screw around sometimes, okay? But that's just what I do. Well, maybe it shouldn't be. Look, man, I'm just devastated that I'm not as broken as you still are with everything that's happened, and I'm sorry that I can't keep helping you carry this burden. What does that have to do with anything? But I'm reaching my fucking limit here. These things have taken so much away from us, yet you still run to them every chance you get. No, I don't. Fucking listen to me! You're not invincible, okay? I know you thought that when we started doing these fucking death marches. And nothing happened, and I get it, but this right here is real. And you should know that more than anybody. What's that even supposed to mean? I wish we never looked for your m because she is dead and gone, and we were never gonna get her back. What did you just fucking say to me? And I'm sorry that these are the lives that we lead today, but Adam, if you walk down those stairs, you'd be joining her. And if by some miracle, you come back out, I don't think you'd be yourself, and I'm telling you right now that I won't be here to confirm that. Well then just fucking leave then! Leave!
were you? Did the right thing. Nobody is coming to help you. Jonah, you there? wrong, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. Hey. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not the... No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not... I've had it unplugged for weeks now. I mean, I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Are you free tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? You promise you'll actually come over this time? He's still your child too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. What do you mean? Do you... Realize how young he is? I think that there'll be so, it'll be so overpopulated that there'll be wars. All nuclear explosions and everything. So I just tend to today's chores and let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. What about us? We'll always have Paris. Speed hundreds of telephone calls as well as television programs. Nothing but lightning, to say the least. I learned a lot about myself, and 
I hope my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. I will never stand down for my base values, no matter how far up the ladder I go. While I may not be the most um, a spoken type, I protect and serve my city with pride, and I'm grateful to be rewarded as such. Thank you all. to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse, and we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. If you could have someone pay a visit to um, uh, the three... New and make sure everything's all right. It would be much appreciated. Oh, and if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you, and have a nice night. Sheriff's Department, open up. Police, open the door. Jesus Christ. You do realize you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. Listen, I I got a lead. Okay? It's got some evidence to review still. That's it. I'll believe it when I see it. See you later. Alright. Lock the door on the way out.
to open the door. No. I am not going away. Alright, Mr. Davis, I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in along with your request note. I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter and I'll be waiting a response. Hello. Now, you may be thinking, who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Consider me a friend, because I might consider you one too. I like having friends. How many friends do you have? That's great. Would you like to know a secret of mine? I can make friends appear out of thin air. What was that? You want to know how? Well, I can tell you, but you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Great. 
First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? What do they look like? What colored eyes do they have? Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to put it is best to put it is best. They're just as scared as you are. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. Can you keep an even bigger secret? I think it worked. Your new friend is somewhere in your house. Now it's up to you to go and find them. One, what's the emergency? Please, you gotta help me. There's someone in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what they got inside. I have to make noise and wait those lights for mine. Alright, all right, just, just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. So you stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Is this person threatening you or your family? No, he just. Stairs in the corner. He's not taking anything. He's just standing there. I think my wife is hurt. I don't know what to do. It's going to be fine. You just need to calm down. I don't want to look at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything like him. That can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. What? I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? I just got a 1015. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um... What? Did you get a similar call? I uh, believe we got a home intruder. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? Sir? Thatcher? I'm going to need some backup here. What are you talking about? Where's the others? The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Jesus. Hey, um... Bruce, what's the address? See anything? Negative. Yeah. You hear that, right? Just stay by me. No, Weaver, we don't, because everyone else fucking left. <sighs> Sorry. Got 10.56. Someone's fucking... Oh, camera. Shit. Camera's down, Weaver. Weaver.
Hello? Hello? Identify yourself. Identify yourself. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Look. What do you want? If you're still in there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. Ten seventy eight requesting backup. Ten seventy eight requesting backup. Ten eighteen requesting assistance from available Bythorn units. This is an unauthorized use of our colonel. Identify yourself. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis, MCPD. 1018, requesting assistance from available worksheet units.
Till they've taken everything. Everything I loved. Everything I cared about is gone. I'm scared. But I can't show it. I can't show any fucking weakness. Because if I act human, if I act like this is fucking bothering me, they're going to lose hope. Everyone's going to blame me for this. Everyone doesn't know what to do. No one knows what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I can't be the man everyone wants me to be. I'm tired. I feel like I haven't slept in so long. And nobody knows what we're doing. And all these missing people... You know, they blame us for not finding them, but we don't know where the fuck they went. <laughs> they don't realize that we're in the same fucking boat as they are. That thing took something from me. I feel different. Seeing a perfect copy of you just walk away out into the world no one's answering no one's telling me what's going on I'm gonna kill this thing if it's the last thing I fucking do I'm alive but part of me doesn't want to be
In the beginning, the earth was created without form, as a spirit hovered over the face of the waters. Light was created first, then the light was divided by darkness. The light would be called day, and the darkness would be called night. On the second day, the spirit created the skies above and the water below. A great firmament was created to divide the waters. The evening to the morning was the second day. The water below was separated from dry land, where a diverse arrangement of plants were grown. The mass of water would be called the sea. The land would be called earth. A grand array of stars and planets filled the emptiness of the night sky. The sun and moon were created to give life to day and night. Several creatures were created to inhabit the sea, sky, and land. The creatures would multiply, and soon the earth was filled with these creatures. On the sixth day, a man was created from the dust of the ground, followed by a woman to keep him company. They loved each other very much, and happiness was felt for the first time. They would gaze up at the stars that night before falling into a deep, graceful slumber. This night was different than the last. The woman would gaze up at the sky, but the brilliance and beauty of the stars were obscured by the man, staring down at her. The woman was afraid. Not only has this old technology been easier to use, but me and my family feel a lot safer with it now. This is Dave from Mandela Tech. How may I help you? Hey Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh! How's it going, man? It's been a while. No, well, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church kid go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. Felt empowering, you know? According to the other band members, that's never happened before. Made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Happy to hear it. Yeah, man. Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. I'm sure you've seen the news. Local businesses haven't really been doing so hot recently. Ah, that's rough, man. I I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. That's alright. I'll find a way around it sooner or later, right? Tell you what. If you end up having to shut down, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Got rehearsal at 8. I'll talk to you soon, alright?
some food. Meet every Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the St. John Library. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to bring your paintbrushes. Thank you very much, Lola. Our next student comes from our very own Bythorn High. Please welcome Sarah. Hello. I am Sarah Heathcliff, founder of the Paranormal Club at Bythorn High School. I look to do some private investigations and help some people out from the surrounding areas. I'm currently looking for a work partner to pursue this line of work with. Don't worry about having any experience or anything. I'm also a beginner. You can contact me with the email shown on screen now. I look forward to hearing back from someone. Thanks for listening. Hey, Sarah. I saw your video. I'd like to join you with your investigation stuff since I think that sounds pretty cool. I go to Workshaw High School, but I hope that's not too much of an issue. Also, I grew up in Mandela, so I have some ideas of places that we can explore. Up to you, though. Hope to hear back from you. Hello, everybody. Me and my friend Adam are excited to announce that we have recently founded the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Yup, you heard that right. We are now expanding its surrounding areas. And we don't mind traveling a little bit if we need to. There is nothing that will scare us away. Just give us a call. This will be fine. I promise. Imagine the reactions from this. This will be great. And I know the perfect spot. No way this place was abandoned, Adam. Shh. Okay. Ready to get your mind blown? Uh. Look down that hallway, Sarah. Look at it. And don't look away. Okay, all set. Now press play. What the fuck is this? Shh, shh, shh. Just watch. Look, Sarah, look at it. What are you doing? No. Adam, please. Right there, Sarah, look! What's going on? Don't you want to see? I can't look! Please! It's literally looking at us, Sarah! Crazy good shot, Sarah. No. I'm not doing that ever again. You're kidding. I just need time, all right? If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. A call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Sarah, it's Adam. I'm on the way back. We got some pretty good material that I think you'll be pretty psyched about. So, uh, yeah, see you soon.
Adam? Eventually someone will stumble across that. You just drove off? Didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. What? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got done walking for miles in the cold, all right? Would you expect me not to take the car? What the hell has gotten into you? Adam. Got some killer footage, though. I don't give a shit about the footage until you sort yourself out. Crazy how I feel more sympathy towards someone I hardly knew than you. He was your best friend. No, he wasn't my best friend. I was his best friend. I don't have friends. We have to tell our viewers, you know. We? I think you mean you. You're the one that handles the online. No, you. This is all your fault, Adam. We didn't need this footage. I don't care how good it is. Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. I thought you were better than that. Seventeen years and counting. The fear dwelling in the bottom of my stomach eats away at me like a cancer. The bellowing of broken parents. The cries of sisters asking where their brothers went. All drowned out by the humming of fluorescent lights. Missing person supports stacked on top of each other like a mountain of grief. Part of me thinks if I lit a match and tossed it, their souls would find their final resting place. Weaver, my guardian angel, in a sense. I threw her to the flames in an act of self-preservation. Her photo plastered in the lobby. Almost like a reminder of what I did. At the same time, I feel anger. I feel vengeful. I feel pain. I'll make you proud, Ruth. But the darkness followed me home, Weaver. I left. I couldn't cut it. I shut myself in. But something else was there with me. If nobody's there to call you crazy, would you ever find out? You're gonna have to take my word for it. You're 
firing me? No, 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 no. I'm not firing you. Uh, you remember our last good day? Yeah, me either. Dave, please. Is there anything else I can do? I, I'll gladly do longer shifts. You don't even have to pay me anything extra. This is all I have. Please? Look, I have a good friend that used to work at the police station. I'll put in a good word for you, alright? I appreciate your loyalty so much, Evelyn. It's been a good run. Bye-bye. Dave, wait. What's with the closet? The old TV? Why do you stop- Hey, O'Brien. I think it's about time that I take you up on your offer. This is Lieutenant Patrick Davis. Seems like I made a mistake. Everything's clear here at the station. Calling off all units. Over. Afraid of your own reflection, Lieutenant. Dear Ruth, I know you can't read this letter, so I guess this is more for my peace of mind. I miss you a lot, man. <laughs> I like to think that you're watching me somehow, making fun of me while I write you this fucking letter. But I'm always greeted by that same invasive silence. I keep driving by the house like uh, I'm going to get over it somehow, you know? But it hasn't gotten easier. There's a lot of movies and music that you missed. I wish I could show it to you. Just one more time. Because the reality is, Ruth, I don't think I'm going to find another friend like you again. And every day it hurts. It's so bad. And now you're dead because I was too fucking scared. I was too fucking scared. I'm so sorry. You deserve better, Weaver. You really did.
It is with heavy hearts that we announce the passing of Jonah Marshall, a recent member of the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Jonah was beloved by many of our viewers, and for good reason. He brought a positive energy to an otherwise serious organization. We couldn't be more saddened by the passing of such a pure soul. Jonah passed away peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. Always the nicest guy up until he started the investigations of Jonah. I I never believed in that kind of stuff. He always came across as a skeptic, sort of just more surprised than anything. There was always something going on with him, but he just never told me. We got into a big fight over it, and he just told me some awful, terrible things that I just wish he had never told me. That. It's messing with my words. I don't know what's going on. It's not me. The computer, I swear. I'm not stupid. I, I never right. said that. The computer, I swear. It's with my words. I'm not stupid, alright? I don't know what's going on. Messing with my words. I never said that. Shut the fuck up! I never said that. Messing with my words. I've had enough of you! Messing with my words. I never said that. Please! Just get the fuck out of my ass! Welcome to Face Studio 2. Check the manual for more detailed instructions. Trademark Mandela Tech 2000. Welcome to Face Studio 2, a revolutionary software that can make your face say anything you want at the touch of a button. All we need from you is your personal details and three photos of your face. Demonstrate it on screen now. Once we have your photos, we will be able to save your facial profile to our database. We will never share your data. Once the upload is complete, you can type in anything that you want your face of choice to say. A new feature with Face Studio 2 is the ability to customize your face even further. Several faces can be saved onto Face Studio 2, creating magical fun for everyone. It's truly a wonder that digital technology has come and saved us all. Make sure to spread the word to your family and friends about the new and improved Face Studio 2, available for free on most personal computers. Do your part in creating a better reality. Society of followers of the truth say this of tangled limbs danced around my bedroom. I held my breath and waited for it to stop. I was too scared to move. I did my only way to see through, 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 through.
Hello? Mr. Davis, are you here? Yeah. Uh, hey, Fetcher. Um, I've got some news for you. What? You know, I mean, I just think it's time that I move on. Okay. Move on with what? Why are you being so cryptic? I just think, I just think that I finally found peace. This isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. So, so we're done. Just like that. <laughs> no, look, man. I don't think you fucking get it. I don't know how to do any of the shit you do for me. How much of that was really worth it, though? If you would have just given up already, maybe you could find peace as well. Think about how much time you've wasted trying to solve these cases. You need to learn how to accept things that you can't change. From 17 years ago, might I add. Find a new meaning in life, Davis. I just got here. Uh, could you unlock the front door, perhaps? Yo, you're at the front? Uh, yep. I'm at the front of the building. Perfect. We'll be right there. Stay still. Is anyone in there? Yet you still managed to 
follow the shepherd. Oh, Brian. I truly have to hand it to you. You managed to live your entire life completely clueless. You are a fool. Your existence has meant nothing. Only a matter of time before I revolt you, cop friend. He seems like an easy target. You're not real. How can I accomplish anything? Oh, David. You have already done all of my bidding for me. <laughs> Mr. Davis? On, Adam. Who are you talking to? You need to call me back now. I don't know what's going on. 
Please don't make me have to worry about you. Please call me back. Please. Right now, we are following the breaking news at the St. Gabriel Church, where the owner of a local electronics retailer was found dead in the parking lot. News source Eric is live at the scene, gathering the latest details. He just finished speaking to an investigator. Well, that's right. We are at the St. Gabriel Church, right on the border of Mandela and Workshire County, where a nearby homeowner reported hearing screaming from an adult male at around 12 a.m. this morning. Right now, the scene is closed to the public. But this is the most traffic that Mandela has gotten in a while following last night's events. We're Adam? Emily, come here. What are you doing? There's something I want to show you.
You need a rundown. Dead upon arrival and both eyes missing. Estimated death was at around midnight. Were the eyes recovered? No, didn't get any word about that. What? Come here. Look. Oh my god. Yeah. Brain's not supposed to do that. I forgot that place even existed. Well, yeah. Nothing really worth talking about. It felt kind of weird, actually, seeing people there. Especially the press. This was on the news? I guess so. The last time I heard them mention was when they were all migrating to, uh, what was it, workshop? Don't ask me. It's a beautiful, cozy evening in Workshire County tonight. Looks like the storms are pulling back and the sun is making its way back in tomorrow. In other news, looks like the canceled truck... Here, maybe. Everything must go. Mandela Tech is going out of business. Hurry down now and save up to 70% on all items sold at cost. Time is running out. This is your chance to buy that dash cam you've always wanted. Don't forget to check out a once-in-a-lifetime analog television attraction available till close. Mandela Tech going out of business sale. Hurry in today or visit us online at www.mandelatech.com. So you can just hack random security cameras? 
I wouldn't call it hacking. They all have insecure connections. Anyone can do this if they try hard enough. What am I looking for again? Like, the most unsuspecting middle-aged man. I need more than that. Um, probably wearing his lucky flannel again. Sunglasses. Oh, and he has the most fake-looking mustache ever. You'll know it when you see it. If you say so. Doesn't really seem like much is going on. Trust me, he'll come back sooner or later. I knew he wasn't actually going to go anywhere when he called me. <coughs> I heard like a police radio siren or something, and so I turned on the light switch and it was just staring into my soul, and I was so confused because I didn't know if he was just tricking me again. I should have just listened to Amanda. She tried warning hey, me. Hey, you were in love. Don't beat yourself up over it. We'll get this all figured out. I'm sure he's just fine. He had moments like this all the time and... Sarah? Can you hear me? I'll try calling you back. I wish there was something more I could do for you. I know you're in a lot of pain right now. Right. I knew this would happen. 
Oh, 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 oh,